of the Supercar Final for Round 2 of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. We go green and racing then, good start from pole position for Roger Thomas, but yesterday's champion Robert Spittles fails to get away from the lights well. Into the Joker we go for the first time then with Ollie O'Donovan, but look at that as Roger Thomas is leading the way, but side by side for second with Andy Scott versus Derek Tohill. Scott's out wide, Tohill's through into second position, so from the back of the grid, through to the front now for Tohill, and Roger Thomas goes wide, Tohill leads on the hill, Derek Tohill takes the advantage, here comes Andy Scott, try to challenge the second place into the head, but he's not able to find his way past. Great racing action in the opening stages here. Side by side with Donnelly versus Ovenden down the hill. Into the right, and of Paddock Bend as well we go. Into fourth base goes Donnelly then, ahead of Tristan Ovenden. Fantastic racing on the opening lap. Derek Tohill shaking off all of that rustiness. He hasn't raced barely at all in the last year, but he's back at Lydon Hill from Dublin to Lydon, and he's leading the Supercar Finals. Andy Scott Jokers out of view. So, going into Chesson's Drift, then down the Dover Slope and into the left-hander of the Devil's Elbow. It's Derek Tohill still with the advantage from Roger Thomas. Then comes Tristan Ovenden in third position. So, let's see what is going to happen as this all begins to shape out then here in this supercar race. It's Tohill with the advantage with Roger Thomas very close indeed behind them. A doubt as to whether Thomas will be able to make the grid, but an absolutely stonking effort by his team is he is now running up in second position and has a real chance of taking the victory here. He goes Joker then at the start of the third lap. He wants to get out of the traffic of Derek Tohill. He wants to run his own race. Robert Spittles, we can see just going through on the tarmac on the outside. His race has come to a premature conclusion, but Roger Thomas is going to drop out behind O'Donovan and behind Andy Scott. So that is going to be a lot of work to do because those two drivers have Jokered. He's going to really have to put the bit between his teeth to try and find his way through to salvage a promising result in this one. All sorts of action up the top of the hill. O'Donovan versus Scott going side by side into the north bend then O'Donovan ahead at the moment ahead of Scott very close indeed behind with Roger Thomas and Mark Donnelly bringing up the rear. Ollie O'Donovan the one to watch he's leading the Joker Brigade. Tohu and Upton out front both yet to take their Joker laps. O'Donovan needs to get his head down and chase down the top two ahead. We're on to lap four of six. O'Donovan's got a bit of a gap over Andy Scott. So is Derek Tohu out front going to leave this joker until the very last lap? He'll be on the radio with the spotter telling him when's best to go. But O'Donovan and Tohu are very close on lap times at the moment. Very close indeed. You can see Donnelly there. He's getting frustrated, stuck behind Roger Thomas, trying to find his way through. Andy Thomas has a look up the inside. Andy Scott, sorry, I should say, rather, has a look up the inside of Ollie O'Donovan through into the North Bend. He's not able to make a move sick as they come down the hill once again. So we're all ready ready to start the final, the penultimate lap then here, but going into the Joker is the race leader then, so what is going to happen here with Derek Tohill as the rest of the field come round their normal lap, where is he going to emerge? Tristan Ovenden takes over at the front, Derek Tohill does emerge in front of Ollie O'Donovan, a cloud of dust in their wake then, but Tohill then has timed it to perfection, that was smart from Tohill, if he stayed out for a lap longer, he has on the inside, there's contact between them, side by side they go through the left hander, up the top of the hill, it's Tohill on the inside, here comes Andy Scott, he's trying to send it down the inside, this is getting very frantic indeed here in the National Championship, side by side we go with Scott versus O'Donovan, O'Donovan tries to run him out of room, down into Paddock Bend, and O'Donovan takes over the position. This is the final lap, Tristan Upton was the race leader, but it's into the Joker lap now. So Derek Tohill should be able to take top spot back, which he does. So does O'Donovan, he flicks through. Scott's onto the podium as well. So Ovenden re-emerges in fourth, but it's Derek Tohill who has the lead as Andy Scott challenges O'Donovan. You know this is going to get really close here with Andy Scott. He's going to try and find his way through any opportunity. O'Donovan's a bit wide through the left-hander. Is that going to allow an opportunity here for Scott? Look at Ovenden in the background, defending as well from Roger Thomas. And Scott leans on the back of O'Donovan there, sliding it through the north bend. Down, Harry, here we go for the final time then. This is frantic racing. Derek Tohill is going to win round two of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Ollie O'Donovan comes home, a valiant second place. Third position is Andy Scott. There's drama at the final corner as well because it looks like there was contact between Roger Thomas and Tristan Ovenden. They have come to blows and taken a hit with one another and they come and limp over the timing line right at the back of the field but what an absolutely frantic 
final there, and there's broken suspension from our commentary position. We can see that on Tristan Ovenden's car. A disaster for the local man.